Hello, dear participants. As an interpreter, I'm speaking on behalf of Dr. Alex Sorokin, PhD and Executive Director of the National Ayurvedic Medical Association of Russia. This course is dedicated to the issues of matching of constitution types in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. And today we are going to talk about excess of yang, which is a 100% equivalent of pitta imbalance in Ayurveda. Each time we start with basic notions for those who have just joined us, and a constitution is a complex of stable structural, anatomic, physiological and psychological features of the person, which had been formed under the influence of the innate or acquired factors. Why we say it is important to know the constitution type of the patient? Peculiarities of the constitution type form a tendency to certain pathogenic processes and diseases. Correction of the constitution features allows to prevent development of the disease. Knowing predispositions to diseases, the specialist can perform a preventive treatment, which is the highest level of art of healing. The set of characteristics is determined by certain combination of three regulation systems of vata, pitta and kapha doshas. They form nine subtypes and the tenth type is the ideal combination or balance of doshas, called tridosh. Here you can see the same combinations, but they are um, presented as notions of traditional Chinese medicine. And highlighted in red is the type we are going to discuss today. It is pitta type or excess of yang. Excess of yang or pitta imbalance is a complex of constitutional features developing as a result of excess of yang energy with formation of symptoms of the full heat syndrome manifesting through functional hyperactivity and excessive products of heat. Let's see the clinical example based on, on the personal experience of mine. There is a chance that you've met such people and such patients. They have a confident walk and confident appearance in general, they have loud voice, reddish face, vigorous gesticulation, they have a strong handshake, and usually they are successful in business, they can be managers or directors. Such patients would claim that they have problems with heart and maybe they even had micro-infarction. They suffer from hypertension and even the modern good quality pills wouldn't help them. Being in excess, fire starts manifesting its nature in the body. Let's see what is fire from the physiological point of view. What is the full heat syndrome? In this syndrome, yin stays in norm, while yang features start growing. Here we can see the difference between the syndromes of emptiness heat, uh, for example, and full heat syndrome. The full heat syndrome is characterized through absolute domination of fire, while in empty syndromes, domination is relative or artificial, formed as a result of the lack of the other part. Yang warms up organs and tissues, moves, activates, stimulates creation and development. This syndrome contributes to development of hypertension. According to Ashtanga Hridaya, pitta is an equivalent of bile. It is something that digests. Pitta lies in the basis of all the chemical and biochemical reactions which in their turn form metabolism, and metabolism is the basis of all physiological functions in the body. The main location of pitta is small intestine, stomach, sweat and sebaceous glands, liver, blood, lymph, organs of vision and brain. Excess of pitta color feces in yellow, as well as urine, eyes, skin attain a yellowish, yellowish tint. It also causes hunger, thirst, burning sensation and difficulties with sleep. According to Pancha Mahabhut theory, pitta dosha presented as fire dissolved in the water. We may see this as acidic environment of secretion enzymes. Of course, fire is a dominating element here. Pancha Mahabhut tab allows to carry out a deep expert analysis. Position of each element shows predisposi predisposition to certain state of the body. Here you can see that fire is dominant and all the other putas are subdominant. Chinese hieroglyph of Yang has two graphemes. The first one is a hill and another one denotes the sun. Together they mean the sunny side of the hill which is always getting warmed up. Sanskrit notion of Pitta, according to Ashtanga Hridaya, Pitta is something that is hot, light, it easily gets involved into the regulation processes, it's oily, 
It is involved in fat's metabolism through the secretion of small intestine, participates in regulation of water-salt metabolism through the system of nutri nutriuresis. Pitta is dense. It stimulates processes. It's fluent, mobile. It implicates neighboring tissues into the processes. It's stinky, as Bhrajaka Pitta forms access of toxic metabolites that are removed through skin, thus disturbing skin flora, and we get this bad smell of the skin. It is also spicy and liquid and bright. Domination of Pitta dosha means domination of five fire subdoshas which form Pitta. It was already mentioned before in the lectures that Ranjaka Pitta imbalance, which is typical for this constitution type, leads to different pathological states connected with blood. As for Pachaka Pitta, first of all, it is responsible for hormonal regulation through such hormones as gastrin, histamine, somatostatin, secretin, cholecystokinin, intestinal hormones, and gastric secretion presented by gastric juice, pancreatic secretion, bile, and intestinal juice. Kranjaka Pitta, which is also connected with issues of this constitution type, represents immune system of skin, melatonin and melanin production, and vascular system of skin. Causes of axis of yang or Pitta imbalance. According to traditional Chinese medicine, it may be an innate axis of yang uh, because of weak bodies or weak health of parents. Ayurveda links it to objectified karmic factors. Also, it may, it may be connected with all kinds of congestions, uh, energy congestion, blood congestion, water, liquids, food, and so on. It leads to formation of pathogenic heat and excess of yang. Also, the causes of excess of yang or pita imbalance may be emotional disorder and shock, irrational diet, overeating of spicy hot food with yang features, and ignorant usage of yang restoratives, uh, ginseng, male drugs for stimulation of potency, climatic factors, non-endemic residence in the hot climate works towards uh, penetration of the outer heat as well and increase yang in the body, and alcohol abuse. Clinical manifestation of excess of yang. The main signs uh, here would be red face of the patient, red lips, acne, hot, hot body and limbs, strong physique, ulcers and erosion in the mouth and tongue, sonorous loud voice. Related signs may be preference for cold food, dry mouth and the desire to drink cold water all the time, bitterness in the mouth, excessive appetite, dry stool, dark urine, bad breath and anxiety. Common features of the body, it is poor tolerance of, uh, poor tolerance of heat and love to the cold and strong sexual constitution or libido. Psycho-emotional features here would be extraversion, nervousness, increased activity, mobility and vigor. Uh, tongue diagnosis uh, would show that uh, the tongue has this red color with a yellow coating. And pulse diagnosis will show full and frequent, frequent pools, pulse, uh, manduka gati pulse with high bala. Let's uh, see what disorders of excess of yang may be. Symptoms of full heat syndrome with a triad of symptoms such as fever, uh, redness, turbid yellow nature of excreta. Another disorder, one of the most important here, is so-called silent killer of the 40% of population of the planet. It is hypertension. And um, also we may say that it may be acne caused by rise up of the pathogenic fire and different inflammations all over the skin as well. What features of excess of yang we will see in the cardiointervalogram during the examination on the Vedapulse device? Pie chart uh, that you can see on the right will show an absolute domination of fire. Total power in average is near 2500 up to 4000 milliseconds squared. Low frequency range takes not less than 60 up to 80 percent of the spectrum. Very low frequency 10 to 20 percent of the spectrum and high frequency 5 to 10 percent. Spectrum equivalents of the empty heat syndrome, cardio intervalogram. 
total power not less than 1000 milliseconds square, low frequency uh, not less than 50, 60 percent of the spectrum, very low frequency, 25 to 35 percent, high frequency less than 15 percent. Indices of the time analysis in excess of Young or Pitta imbalance. An average duration of the heart cycle would be uh, 750 up to 850 milliseconds. Mode will be 800 up to 825 milliseconds. Tension index uh, 60 to 80 uh, conventional units and mode ampl amplitude uh, 0 0.20, 0 0.30. Uh, we can also see that variation range uh, will be with a tendency to the increase showing a substantial adaptation resource. Restoration index uh, will have tendency to normal restoration rate. In young index uh, will be of 100 up to 150 conventional units with tendency to well expressed tension of Pingalanadi. Adequacy index uh, will show high requirements uh, and normal capacities of the body. And centralization index uh, below 6 and 7 conventional units shows strengthening of the autonomous control loop. Integral indices in excess of Young. Here we check four indices. Index of morphofunctional state and functional indicators of cardiointervalogram values. Index of morphofunctional state shows that, that people have sufficient life force that is located in the lower border of the high functionality range or in the upper border of the medium functionality. Stress level in these people is near 60 conventional units, which means that resistance to stress is quite strong. Adaptation price is just below 30%, and the speed of biological aging would always be in a red zone. Pulse characteristics. We'll see uh, the classical features of Manduka Gati pulse. Manduka means frog, and Gati means features of movement. It means jumping. If you use Vasant Lad's uh, three-point system, you'll find Pitta is always above three points. Veda Pulse device will show Pitta is higher than six points. Vega will be above 73 and 77. Tala, uh, it is elastic rhythm, er, elastic uh, rhythmical pulse uh, for Pitta, uh, typical for Pitta Vikriti. Bali is strong, typical for Pitta Vikriti as well but Pitta Vikriti in balance and Tapamana is Dikshna Agni. Take a look at the cardiointervalogram of uh, the empty syndrome formed as a result of an absolute deficiency of yin. We see that cardiointervalogram is kind of torn. There is a tendency to rigidness of the rhythm which is connected with a very excess of wind. Scatterogram is very much typical for the empty syndrome with the trace, trace shifting uh, to Vata range. In the full heat syndrome, Pita range is presented substantially in the scatterogram. Bioenergy in excess of Yang or Pita imbalance, the level of energy is high. Total level goes up to 100, 120%. Systems of organ, organs which would be tense as metabolic and regional blood flow centers are liver, gallbladder, small intestine, where tension is above 10%. In the empty syndrome, uh, to compare to, the first sign is total level in the range of 75%. Liver, gallbladder, small intestine tension is above 10% and heart is below 5%. Colon tension is also below 5, 5%. There also would be emaciation of chi of kidneys, which would be below 5% as well. Let's talk about one of the main disorders of this constitution type. It is hypertension, or a silent killer, as they call it. A stable increase in blood pressure, systolic pressure to a value of more than 100, 140 millimeters of mercury, and or diastolic pressure of more than 19 millimeters of mercury, according to data of at least two-fold measurements by the Karatkov method for two or more cons consecutive visits of a patient with an interval of less than 
one week. The prevalence of hypertension in the population is uh, 20%. In the age group over uh, 65 years old is 50%. So why hypertension is a silent killer? It takes the first place among causes of sudden death because people with hypertension get used to its symptoms and do not, do not take any preventive measures or, or of treatment until it's too late. Arterial hypertension reduces life expectancy. Stroke and myocardial infarction occurs three times more often. Types of hypertension in traditional Chinese medicine, it can be increase of young of liver, the full heat syndrome. It will cause headaches, unstable uh, psych, short temper, irritability, the patient feel, would feel anxious. Uh, it also would cause uh, hyperemia of the face, dry mouth, constipation, yellow coating of the tongue. Methods of treatment of such type of uh, hypertension would be to calm the fire of young and harmonize liver. Uh, another type of, of hypertension, according to traditional Chinese medicine, is emptiness of yin, uh, young excess syndrome, or empty heat. It can cause vertigo, tinnitus, anxiety, insomnia, maybe a feeling of numbness in the trunk and extremities, pinkish patches on the tongue. Methods of treatment here uh, would be to nourish yin and soothe yang. And another type uh, is emptiness of yin and yang at the same time. It also causes vertigo, tinnitus, pain in the lower limbs, numbness in them, knee pain, insomnia or nightmares, pale face, pathological pollution, impotence, pale coating on the tongue. And methods of treatment is to nourish yin and strengthen yang. And types of hypertension in Ayurveda. It can be pitta type of hypertension uh, and the person would get uh, red face, inflamed eyes, severe headaches, photophobia, nasal bleeding, burning sensation, irritability and anger. Uh, helpful here would be bitter taste, bitter laxatives and sedatives. Another type of hypertension is hypertension of vata type. It will cause the growth of blood pressure on the b background of nervous fatigue, excitement. And uh, here, uh, beneficial would be toning therapy. Uh, you should take some adaptogens or recommend some adaptogens for central nervous system. It also can be hypertension of kapha type uh, or hypertension of water. On the background of obesity, fatigue, edema, high cholesterol, blood pressure is constantly high. And here you should recommend diuretics uh, that would stimulate metabolism. Physiological mechanism of regulation of blood pressure. Um, first of all, hemodynamic factors directly determine the level of blood pressure. And neurohumoral factors have a regu regulatory effect on hemodynamic factors, which allows you to keep blood pressure within norm. So what is hemodynamic factors? And the main factor is a minute blood volume. It is amount of blood entering the vascular system in one minute, uh, and it is determined by the derivative of the beat blood volume and heart rate. Another hemodynamic factor is general peripheral resistance um, or permeability of resistive vessels, arterioles. The next one is blood viscosity and the circulating blood volume. Let's look at the restorative measure, measures in excess of yang or pitta imbalance from the point of view of Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine and modern medicine.